<laughs> okay, so I will tell you a story about the art of fighting, which involves, of course, manners. So when I was young, and when you were young, just to bring your memory back here, you were actually able to do that. Children do that. You agree with me? Yes? No? Yes, right? What happened? How come we can't do it? And whenever we do it, let's say there is a big gathering of people, there is a family event, and it's Christmas time, and everyone's on the table with the best clothes and beautiful table setting and food everywhere, and you sat down, and when you start sitting down and eating, you, you, heard, you hear this sound. And then everyone looked at you. And you went, as if you're saying, I'm not the one. So, and what you did was could, uh, imitate what they did, as if you were, you're so naive, you know, that you did not do it. I did that. Anyone in the audience, uh, by show of hands, to be honest, just for this time, have you done that? When you say fight or fart, I didn't understand. Fart. fart. Oh, okay. <laughs> so a fart My is, what is a fart? Flagellants. Yeah. yeah. So it's a gas coming from your anus. <laughs> so who among you have done that? <laughs> In front of everyone and pretend that you are like innocent. <laughs> Don't do it again. Please, please just save me for this moment. It's not the only time, you know. Uh, there was a time when I grew up and in school, while everyone was quiet, doing their own thing, answering some questions the teacher gave them, suddenly there's this urge and there's this sound in the middle of this silence and it goes, and everyone looked as if saying, you're the one guilty, you, you, you can be the one. And you, everyone's saying, not me, no. What is so wrong about fighting? Ladies and gentlemen, a fight is a gas. In fact, if we are going to look at it, in a biological, physiological manner, a fart is actually produced by fer bacterial fermentation. In effect, what we're doing is actually judging the bacteria that is digesting food in our gut. You're not okay. You're not, not good for you to do that. And if the bacteria stops doing that, what will happen? You have a disease. So who's causing our disease? Is it the bacteria? No. When we stop our thoughts, we're st we stop these biological processes. So then, are we like aliens that came to the earth without knowing what the body is supposed to do to help us live our life? We are actually that breath that is the visitor in this way. In, in effect, we are aliens. But you know, we have actually created manners. And these manners started from the time we were young, when our, when our parents told us, your hands are dirty. Clean it before you come to the table. Don't don't fart. Don't fart in the middle of the crowd. Go somewhere else and do it. Or please don't. You see? Or maybe they
they don't communicate that to you verbally, but what they do is, here's what my grandmother do. She goes, Whoa! and that's this with uh, the duster, the, the really big dress that she has. And we go, <laughs> you know, it was so normal in our country. So ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you that we can actually redefine manners and say that we can align our expression of ourselves when we're with people, which is what manners is, by allowing and aligning our expression and fighting in front of everyone else, which is actually freedom. And so before I end the, this talk, I would like to tell you something. Uh, before I end this talk, I would really want to tell you something. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the art of farting. If you, if if you can learn the skill of actually making music out of farting, you're okay. You know what? Some people did this long time ago. Okay? So I want to thank not you, but the fart for being there to ferment the food that I eat. <laughs>